Yo, what's up guys? Ryan again here. Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to answer a very pressing question that gets asked by everybody in the Facebook group at least once or twice a week. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group straight under this video, do it. Ask questions in there. I answer them on video. Um, but the question is, Ryan, what types of hats should guys wear? Now, I'm going to be straight up with, with you. I don't wear hats. Um, there's only one occasion, um, actually two occasions, where I would wear a hat, provided I had some cool hats. But I currently only have one hat, um, and I really don't like it at all. And that's this RBCA um, snapback flat bill. I only wear this hat when I go on a boat. I wear sunglasses and a hat, and it's just for purpose. It keeps the sun out of my eyes um, while we're in the boat. It keeps my face from getting burned, so I can continue to make videos and not have a giant red lobster face. But that's besides the point. The point is, is I really don't like to recommend people wearing hats. For one, they are, hats are kind of a, and please don't take offense to this, they're very juvenile. Younger kids wear hats, backwards, sideways, forwards, tilted, all kinds of different ways to wear hats, but they're always by the younger generation. So if you're trying to appear older, trying to appear more refined, trying to appear more wealthy, more successful, um, attract women, Hats make you appear young and juvenile, so I don't wear them for that reason right there. Um, also, there are if you do have to wear hats, and there's lots of styles, there's fedoras, there's like derby hats, there's the driving caps. If you're interested in one of those, I suggest you just go try it on and see how you look. Most people can't pull those hats off. They look like shit, they look like they're trying too hard, especially fedoras. A lot of dudes roll around um, in the clubs wearing fedoras, they think they're cool, but really they just look like a giant fucking douchebag. So there's, but there is, you know, on the flip side of that, there are certain people that can pull off those types of hats with those types of looks. Um, with that said, if you want to get, um, like an athletic type of hat, I'd recommend wearing it like on a boat to the beach, to the gym, just get like a cool, uh, like flat bill or a snapback with a little curve. Um, just a solid color, not big logos. I know that has a giant logo, the hat that I showed you. I hate it. I really only wear it like, like super sporadically. I just don't ever put it on. But in no cases should you really be wearing hats if you're going out for the evening, nice dinners, any of that thing. I just say get your hair cut every two weeks, keep your hairstyle on point, and you will look a lot better, a lot more refined, a lot more handsome when you don't wear a hat. So, um, if you are currently balding, receding hairline, uh, a lot of you guys ask me what hat should I wear. Don't wear a hat, bro. Own the fact that that's happening to you. Stop trying to hide it. Um, if you can't fix it, feature it. You know, Shave your head, go to the stylist, find a hairstyle that works with your receding hairline, but don't cover it up. Don't act like a pussy and say, I can't, oh no, my hair is thinning. Like you can't control that, that's genetics, there's no way around it. So own it and uh, work on other aspects of your personality, your wardrobe, just to take the focus off of that insecurity that you have. So that's it for this video. I don't like hats, I don't really suggest that anybody wear them, especially if you're trying to appear more handsome. So um, I'm sure this video is gonna get lots of hate in the comments, but that's my views, that's my thoughts, do what you want with it. I'm out.